Gravitational waves were predicted by Einstein just a year after he developed his theory of general relativity about what gravity is. Even when he made that prediction, he actually wrote himself, yes, these waves must be produced, but there's no way we'll ever detect them. He was convinced, there was no doubt, there was no discussion, oh, let's think about how one day we could detect them. That discussion started 50 years later by other scientists. Up until now, we had this indirect evidence, which was quite robust, and there was widespread acceptance in the scientific community that black holes exist. However, we had never detected emission of any type that would come directly from the black hole. That kind of emission, by the nature of black holes, is only gravitational waves. So up until now, we didn't have detectors like the LIGO detectors that were sensitive enough to detect gravitational wave emission. Had you asked him back then, why are you curious about understanding gravity? Why do you want to develop a mathematical theory that 10 people on this earth can understand? His answer probably would not have been that informative or that interesting about how it would affect people's lives. And yet, right now, our GPS technology, the technology that allows our phones to show us a map and say, ah, this is where we are, would not be possible if we didn't know about Einstein's theory of general relativity. Because this theory affects how satellites move and uh, minuscule corrections to their motions, had we not been able to do, we would be getting our location wrong by hundreds and hundreds of feet. And hence, GPS technology would not work. These predictions that an amazing mind produced a century ago and never imagined would affect our lives in any way now came to be. Now they become part of observational astronomy, everyday practical observational astronomy that we're opening this new brand new window of observational astronomy into uh, the universe for the decades to come.